uh hi guys i welcome all the viewers in this video and my youtube channel guys in this video i'm to, uh, talking about how to install semantic endpoint uh, uh, protection client through lan or remotely if you want because if you want to or if you try to install one by one it will take most time if you have multiple or uh, num more number of computers so you have the option uh, how you can do it from uh, server console itself so I, i'll be telling the same thing here if you find this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, comment on this video and share this video and like this video. If you share this video then obviously guys it will reach to other people also and they may also learn and this will be a very huge thing for others. So very simple guys in this for example what I am trying to say is I will make you clear. For example you have a, uh, I, will, I will tell you here, you have a client here only ok and this is your server. Now you have hundred clients this side so if you try to install one by one it will take much time but you can do it from server itself in one go so for that what you need to do and what you need to uh, take care I will tell you so first of all guys the requirement is your systems firewall should be disabled okay if you go to system and check your local firewall all the firewalls should be off like this I have installed here semantic endpoint protection manager that is why it is uh, it has taken the control okay so I told uh, I have already shared how this works and how it got applied here in my previous videos so I'm not able to do it uh, do anything here but uh, if you want to disable your semantic endpoint protection manager there is a command go to run and uh, just smc space hyphen stop you if you run and then you will have to assign password here ok and I will show you how to uh, do this password also because for security concern the uh, local user should not use or should not make any change you can assign the password so if you know the password then only you can open the console of that semantic or you can take control ok so I will show you in the same video and uh, let me just reopen it once again or whether I can check or not yes I can check is out of date it is showing it is it is giving notification also so let me go to firewall and see so uh, I, now I am as you can see here both the firewalls uh, private as well as uh, public block uh, disabled so it should it, this is a very common requirement of any system okay now if you want to deploy uh, from server then you have to disable this now what you need to do uh, you need to go to console this is my semantic endpoint protection console I need to log into server ok this one and uh, I need to go to client and where I want to deploy I need to select whether my uh, company or uh, any folder so I have to do it to my uh, IT only ok so for that there is an option here install a client ok or uh, run a command so what, we ca what I can do here just click on this okay and it, it is asking uh, something like that selection select deployment type what kind of deployment you want so new package or existing package if you have any existing package you can select from here or you can add like this but uh, if you select new package so it will take it will create a latest package from your uh, server and that will be deployed so again we have communication update package deployment here so create a package for windows endpoint protection client that run on windows okay or one for mac so i need to select this option or uh, either you can take this option so this is for package deployment communication update package this one but i want complete package that has uh, client version and that can support like if you, you can read here select package from the server and specify client group and features so if you want client updater this is a communi communication update package okay I don't require that one so we need to select new package deployment and click next now it will ask which which one you want so as you can see here install package which package you want so it is showing for windows we have two one is 32 bit and one is 64 bit so I'm selecting windows only if you have windows 64 bit system it will take 64 bit or if you have 62 bit it will take 62 automatically and group where you want you can browse from here or it is already done right and uh, like install feature set which feature you want full protection for clients or you can select for full protection for servers or basic protection for servers so I'm taking for clients and installation setting 
again this is for windows and you can select this also include BIOS definition in the client installation package so I'm not selecting just clicking next now guys I got three options okay save package I can save this package if I click then I will get a path here so it will create a exe if you have one or two computer you can create exe but I want I don't want that exe then I will have to go to particular systems and install one by one but I can remotely post it just select remote post and next now it will scan all the systems in your network okay so as you can see here there, there is a option uh, there is one one option came work group and one came this domain okay so these are the systems available in domain and these are the systems available in work group so I can select those systems and move this site or if you want any specific system you can select from here let me see whether my system is reflecting here or not okay this is the this is this one is my system so just I need to move this site and for that it would require local administrator password okay once you give local administrator password okay it is showing already managed or still you want to go so I'm just clicking yes here okay so like this I came I mean I selected this and just click next you can select multiple also and this is a 64 bit so it, it, it has taken 64 bit now if I click send so it will send that package once again to that system and it, and it will show you updated uh, uh, this thing successful status here once it is deployed to my computer and same thing can be seen here also it will give you after some time that notification it got uh, like uh, new uh, it will give you notification some sort of notification like like restart and all so this is what we can deploy you can select multiple IP addresses or multiple computers from here I just showed you one for example how you can do it so guys uh, once it is done it will show you 100% and if it is not if your firewall firewall is enabled it will give you error it will not take that command properly so first of all you have to ensure that your firewall is disabled this is a basic requirement to deploy some endpoint protection client uh, remotely so you need to take care of this one so it, it is showing semantic endpoint protection uh, this one successfully deployed okay click next and out of this so what you can do is now you can check here after some time it will give you notification so I'm not waiting for that I'm just concluding this video here only and uh, so guys this is what we can deploy it and you will see uh, once it is done like green or th th this kind of information will reflect so th this was the system where I uploaded and as you can see here at, at uh, last time status changed at 9 p.m. just now it got up updated so it is showing that particular time when it communicated with my server okay so this is what guys I just tried to bring in this so guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel come under this video share this video and like this video wait for my next videos if you subscribe my channel you will be getting updated videos and next videos so till then bye bye guys